In this video, I'll be explaining about the spectral properties of complex compounds. We know that using crystal field theory, we can explain the magnetic as well as spectral properties of coordination compounds. So according to crystal field theory, the five degenerate d orbitals can be split into two different sets. So one set named as d2g consists of three d orbitals which have lower energy and the other set which is named as eg has two orbitals of higher energy. This is the case in octahedral field whereas in tetrahedral field it is reverse. That is, the two orbitals which form the E set will have lower energy, whereas the three orbitals forming the T2 set will have higher energy. So these are the things which form the basis of crystal field theory, which you have already learnt. So here we have we can see the octahedral splitting. Here we have the T2G set, and here we have the EG set, and this one electron in the ground state gets excited to the EG level in the excited state. So when this electron absorbs energy, that is it is represented as H nu here, then it's, it gets excited to the EG level. So this is the ground state and the excited state as you can see here. So now in order to identify the color of the coordination compounds, we need to learn some basics. That is the difference between the excited state energy and the ground state energy is equal to the energy of the photon. So, in other words, if I have to tell, when the energy of the photon is equal to the difference in energy between ground and the excited state, then the excitation will take place. That is, the excitation of the electrons from the lower energy to the higher energy will take place. One more thing which you all have to remember is, the energy of the photon is inversely proportional to the wavelength of light. That is, higher the wavelength of light that is absorbed, lesser is the energy of the photon or in other words, lesser is the energy gap. So we also know this fact that whatever color we observe is the complementary color to the color which is absorbed by the complex. Okay, so let me make it more clear. Suppose if the complex appears green, then it indicates that the complex has actually absorbed red. Okay, because green and red are complementary to each other. Suppose if the complex appears orange, then it indicates that the complex has absorbed blue. So it appears orange. Okay, because blue and orange are complementary colors. So this is explained in this point. Yeah. So how do we decide which type of color is imparted to each complex? So which are the different factors which influence this? So main factor is the ligand. So we already have discussed about the spectrochemical series where we arrange the ligands according to the splitting they bring about. Okay. So here we have from this is CO carbonyl ligand. It is the it is it belongs to the strong field ligand type. So this water, water and whichever ligands are coming below water, these are weak field ligands. Okay. Next to water, we have the thiocyanato ligand. So here, so this is isothiocyanato, sorry. So isothiocyanato and the other ligands which are above it in this series belong to strong field ligands. Okay, so here we have already discussed about spectrochemical series. So if there is a strong field ligand, then the splitting is higher and higher energy photon is required, whereas the wavelength absorbed will be smaller. Okay, okay, so let me make it more clear. So here there is a weak field, weak field case. Okay, or in other words, this field is occurring because of the weak field ligand. So here what happens, you can see that the energy gap is less or in other words, we represent it as delta, delta O for octahedral, delta T for tetrahedral. Okay. So here the delta is small. That means this is taking place in the presence of weak field ligand. Okay. So here as you can see, 
because of the smaller gap the energy required for the excitation is also less if the energy is less then the wavelength absorbed will be longer okay <clears throat> same way here if you consider this is the opposite that is this case is for the strong field case that is where strong field ligands are present in the complex so here you can see the delta is large if there is if the gap is large then the energy required for the excitation is also very high if the energy is high then the wavelength absorbed will be lower okay so that is explained in this slide i think it is clear by now since i have also represented it pictorially okay so now let us discuss about the spectral properties of some particular coordination complexes so now coming on to the first complex titanium complex which is coordinated with aqua ligands so as you can see here there are six aqua ligands so it is an octahedral complex and here i have also shown the uh, picture that is a uh, representation of this complex it appears violet in color okay so now that is the solution of this complex okay so the here in this complex titanium is in plus 3 state as you can calculate here so it is 3d1 system as you also know that h2o is a weak field ligand this energy gap will be lesser okay if the energy gap is less as i've already explained the energy required for excitation is also less but the wavelength will be high okay so here you can see it absorbs the photon corresponding to yellow green region so here you can see the stable if the photon is absorbed in this region what is the complementary color see color that is wavelength absorbed and corresponding color color observed so which color is observed if this is absorbed okay so here this complex absorbs in this region that is yellow green region so the color observed is violet that is a complementary color so the color of this complex is violet okay so next coming on to other two examples both these complexes are of cobalt okay so this is an octahedral complex and this is a tetrahedral complex so now we'll discuss about the spectral properties of each and then compare between these so first let me come to the second example cobalt which is coordinated with six aqua ligands so again as you can see since there are six ligands it is an octahedral complex and the i'm sorry here it should be co2 plus okay so again water is a weak field ligand and the splitting will be lesser okay so there are seven 3d7 it is in 3d7 so 3d7 system but the energy gap will be lower okay so since the energy gap is lower the energy required for excitation is also less and the wavelength absorbed will be higher okay so here you can see it absorbs light in the lemon green region okay lemon green region means it is somewhere in between yellow and green to be specific the actual value will be around nearly to 600 okay so if i take it here it will be somewhere nearly to 600 means it will be somewhere here that is between green and yellow lemon green okay so if you take the complementary color you will see that the color observed for this complex will be pink okay so since the absorption takes place in this region the complementary color that is observed will be pink so you can see here this will be more clear lemon green will be somewhere in between green and yellow okay so if i consider this the complementary color will be this one which is a combination of purple and red which is nothing but pink okay so the color of this complex will be pink next coming on to the next complex that is cobalt coordinated with chloro ligands okay so if you calculate here the uh, oxidation number of cobalt will be plus 2 since there are four chloro ligands it is a tetrahedral complex okay again chloro is a weak field ligand and splitting will be lower okay and since the splitting will be lower energy required is also less but the wavelength absorbed will be higher this complex absorbs light in the orange region 
okay so this is the orange region and the complementary color to the orange region is blue so since it absorbs here the complementary color is blue so the complex appears blue in color okay so now the question is in both the cases it is cobalt here it is six ligands here it is four ligands and in both the cases they are weak field ligands but this complex is pink in color whereas this complex is blue in color so why it is why this complex is pink in color because it is absorbing wavelength somewhere here that is in the yellow green region i can show it somewhere here whereas this is absorbing in the orange region okay where the wavelength is higher so higher wavelength indicates the energy required is less for excitation or the energy gap is lesser here in this case than this case okay so why the energy gap is less in cocl42 minus than coh2o6 2 plus so i think you already know the answer since this is a tetrahedral complex the tetrahedral field splitting is always lesser when compared to that of octahedral field splitting so reason you already know here there are only four ligands here there are six ligands so the effect brought about by six ligands will be much more when compared to the effects that are brought about by only four ligands one more reason is in octahedral complex the ligands are approaching in the direction of axis whereas here they are approaching in between the axis in the tetrahedral field so here the field splitting or the difference that is delta will be lower than this so if delta is less energy required is also less but the wavelength absorbed will be higher than this higher than the octahedral complex so because of that the wavelength absorbed is more here okay so you can easily compare for the second complex that is coh2o6 the wavelength was somewhere here but for cocl4 it cl4 2 minus the wavelength absorbed is here that is higher so this is the reason because in tetrahedral complex the splitting is lower so this by this i conclude about the color of complexes how we make use of crystal field theory in order to determine the color of complexes and also the spectral properties of different complexes can be derived by making use of crystal field theory thank you